Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. One area that many people have a problem with is the calculation of percentages in Microsoft Excel. It's really quite simple if we follow a few uh, rules. So what we're going to do here on the first sheet is to look at those rules. So here I have some cells with data in them. Uh, they've been formatted to currency and percentages. So we want to say what percentage is the first number of the second number. So we simply divide the first number by the second number and then format as required. So for example in this cell we see that the formula up here in the formula bar is equal to F8 divided by F9 and we see that F8 is 120% of F9. Just to show you how it works if I say that this number is 1100 then we'll see the percentage changes to 109%. The formula remains the same F8 divided by F9. To find the percentage increase or decrease we deduct the second number from the first number and divide the answer by the second number. So here I see that the formula will be equals F17 minus F18 in brackets divided by F18. And in this case because F, uh, F17 is less than F18 I get a negative percentage. In other words, one number is 18% less than the other number. If I increase this cell to, we'll say, uh, 1400, I see that the answer is 4%. Notice that I conditionally formatted that cell to appear red if the answer is less than zero. Now let's look at how we can calculate percentages in a large file. This file goes down some 2,000 odd rows and contains a half a dozen or so salespeople. So what we want to do is to isolate a salesperson so that we can calculate his or her percentage sales of the total sales. So what we're going to do is to click in any cell and then in the data tab up here we'll click the filter button. That puts the filter buttons across the first row but it does not convert the uh, data to a table. The reason for that is that we need to use the subtotal button in the data tab so that we can use this command here. So let's sort the salespeople A to Z. There they all are. Now if I go to the end of the end of the um, uh, data set we'll see there is Steve Buchanan. So now we'll go to the home tab up there and I now click the subtotal button here and what that does, it enables me at each change in salesperson show the sum of the extended price. Now I'll click OK. And if I now go to the end, I see there is Steve Buchanan's total with the grand total. Excel will do that for me. So back to the home tab again and we see that to know his percentage sales, we simply divide his sales by the total sales and format as a percentage. In other words, I will divide Steve's sales, 68,792, by the total sales, 1265,792, and his sales are 5% of the total. So the trick there was to uh, sort the salespeople. Uh, using the filter button here and then use the subtotal button here to get the figures that
that we saw at the end. So that's how we uh, just need to think a little bit outside the box uh, where we have a large file with lots of information sorted in a particular way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so and a thumbs up would be very very much appreciated. Thank you for watching again. Bye for now. We'll see you next time.